Hi there, we're just quickly going to look at how to find the area and the perimeter of something called a trapezoid. A trapezoid is when you have a shape that has uh, one length here and a longer length here and the two sides, unlike a, like a parallelogram would look something like this where all the sides, these two sides would be the same length and these two would be the same length, okay? A trapezoid is a situation where you have Two, uh, two sides that are parallel to each other, but the other two are not parallel. Obviously this one is not parallel to this one, okay? So, I mean it looks like this. Here is what a trapezoid looks like. Some people have tables that look like this. Now, if we made up numbers here, let's say this was um, four centimeters. Let's, see, let's say down here was like 10 centimeters, and then these sides here this side here, they could be different numbers too. They, this one could be three centimeters and let's say this over here is like 3.5 centimeters, a little bit longer. Okay, and there's something called height. That is the distance between the base down here and the tallest point here, the highest point, or the distance between these two parallel lines. That is called the height. Let's say that was, I don't know, two centimeters. I'm just making these numbers up. Now, for the perimeter, if we're talking about perimeter, we don't we don't need um, we don't need this height right here. All we need, according to this formula over here, is simply to add up the sides. Okay, and if you've seen my other videos on the different shapes on how to find the area and perimeter, all you have to do is add up the sides. Okay, so we'd go 3.5 plus 10 plus 3 plus 4 and our final answer would be well 10 plus 3 is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20.5 and we always should write the units and its centimeters in this case. That is the distance around this shape which is the perimeter. Okay now as far as area, area needs a formula and here we have it over here. If you look over here, it says one half times b plus d times h. Okay? If you wanted to, you could rewrite this and say um, b plus d. We'll multiply that by the height, which is h, and just take that and divide it by two. That's another way of writing this same formula. Okay? So let's start right here. Now what is b and d? Well really what this formula is saying is add up the two parallel sides. So these, this B and the D are the two parallel sides. So that would be 10 plus 4, okay? So we'd go 10 plus 4 in brackets and we would times that answer. Now remember to do the brackets first. We'd multiply that answer by the height which is 2. And then when we're done we're going to divide this answer by 2. So 10 plus 4 is 14, and 14 times 2 is 28. Okay, so I just kept the 2 on the bottom over here until we get to our final answer. 28 divided by 2 is 14, once again. And don't forget the units. It's centimeters, and if you've watched the other videos that I've already done on triangles, parallelograms, rectangles, trap uh, not trap trapezoids is this video. <laughs> Don't forget to put what right here. When you want to symbolize, it's only a symbol, but when you want to symbolize that we're talking about area, we need to put this little two right here. Okay? So the way we would read this is the area is 14 centimeters squared. Okay? That little two people often say is squared. Okay? That is how you find the perimeter and the area of a trapezoid. I hope that helps. Good luck out there with your own math homework and please feel free to watch the other videos on the other shapes. Good luck out there.